polygon interior angle sum theorem gives us a way to find the sum of all the interior angles of any convex polygon, of any convex n-gon. So we, it gives us a way to find the sum of the interior angles of any convex, uh, you know, 100-gon, 17-gon, uh, a decagon, a hexagon. So it's, it's really a handy theorem. Uh, it's tons of fun. So here we go. Uh, it relies heavily on the triangle sum theorem. So we have to we have to know the triangle sum theorem, and the triangle sum theorem says that for uh, a triangle, uh, if this is x, this is y, and this is z, then x plus y plus z equals 180 degrees. So the triangle sum theorem says that the sum of the interior angles uh, of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we're going to use this theorem to our advantage. So we know for a triangle, that the sum is 180 degrees. What about a quadrilateral? Four-sided polygon. So think about a four-sided polygon. Any four-sided polygon you want, we just want it to be convex. So we have this four-sided polygon. Uh, let's just call it A, B, C, D. Now, pick a vertex. I'm going to pick vertex A and then draw in all of the diagonals from this vertex. Now a diagonal is a segment that connects two non-adjacent vertices. Well, the only non-adjacent vertex to A is vertex C. See, B is adjacent to A because there's a segment that connects them. D is adjacent to A because there is a segment with both D and A as endpoints. So C is the only vertex on this polygon that uh, does not have a segment adjoining it to A. So we draw in that diagonal, AC, and now we see two triangles. Well, we know that this angle measure plus this angle measure plus this angle measure is 180. We also know that that angle measure plus that angle measure plus that angle measure is 180. And so the three interior angles of this triangle and the three interior angles of this triangle actually compose the four interior angles of that quadrilateral. Well, there's 180 degrees in this, there's 180 degrees in that, 180 plus 180 is 360. So we know for a quadrilateral, uh, the, in, the sum of the interior angles is 360. Okay, let's look at one more before we make uh, our conjecture, before we notice our pattern. So we look, let's look at a pentagon. So here's our pentagon, A, B, C, D, E. Let's look at this vertex A. And let's look at all the non-adjacent vertices to A. Notice that there are two non-adjacent vertices this time, C and D. So we draw in those diagonals, and we have a similar situation here. We have 180 degrees in this triangle, 180 degrees in this triangle, 180 degrees in this triangle. And so for a pentagon, for a pentagon, there's going to be 540 degrees as the interior angle sum. Now, let's notice something here. For any polygon here, when you choose a vertex to start drawing diagonals, there will always be two vertices that you cannot draw diagonals to. And that means that there are exactly two fewer triangles than the number of sides. So here that we have a pentagon, that's five sides, and there are three triangles. And so for any n-gon, so for any n-gon, that's n sides, there are going to be two fewer triangles than the number of sides. So that's n minus two triangles that I can construct using these diagonals, but then each one of those triangles has an interior angle sum of 180. And so the sum of the interior angles for any convex n-gon is n minus two, the number of triangles that you can make, times 180, the sum of the interior angles for each triangle. So this right here is the polygon interior angle sum theorem. This has a very, very neat corollary, and that is, what if my pentagon here were uh, regular? That is, what if it were equilateral and equiangular? 
then all of the angles would have the same measure, and we could find the measure of each angle by just taking 540 and dividing it by the number of angles there are, 5, uh, giving us 108 degrees for each interior angle. But what if we want to know in general what the measure of each interior angle is for a regular end gown? <clears throat> so this is called the corollary. The corollary says, corollary, I think I spelled that right. I think that's right. The corollary says that the measure of each interior angle the measure of each interior angle is the sum of all of the angles n minus 2 times 180 divided by the number of angles that there are, namely n. And so now you can find the measure of each interior angle by finding the sum of all of the interior angles and then dividing by the number of angles that there are.